I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose, and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk! Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly! <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time! Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was. Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go, Misty Island. That's right. And then. And Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping because, in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. 
I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you! Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange.
Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. Ah, then no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're, uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! my boy you actually got those flea bags back into the pen now i can sleep in peace take this parasol for your trouble Oh! <laughs> 
patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing rig. And now they're gobbling up me catch! No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power set if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters. And then I'll let you with shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. You just want to try the challenge? There are two types of good fish to catch. One pound fishies and five pound fishies. If you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers and you'll poison the whole darn catch.
What a wonderful sight! I thank you, and the entire village will thank me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you earned a power cell. You uh, want to make a contribution? Good. A, a sizable one, I hope. You! Yes. Oh, it is a sizable contribution. I, well, 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 I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. Sight. Oh. 
Listen, boys. I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her.
Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I was to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little, annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. I see you two are back to make the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on? I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, Tata. Bye-bye.
Oh, you really are the best. Here, take this power cell. I won't need it now that I have my inspiration back. needed to power my heat shield. Now be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees, so try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire canyon gets pretty hot, so keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! <laughs> 